Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a haul. A massive, massive haul. If you didn't already see, I will try to remember to link it. I talked about it in a recent Angie's Manny's. There was a week where my middle son and my youngest son both ended up going to the hospital. They're both recovering well, doing doing really well, um, so they're good, but I'm a stress shopper. So there were quite a few days during there that I spent way more money than I should have. I'm absolutely not encouraging people to do that, but I had some auto ship stuff and some stuff I ordered before the stress shopping, and then like half of the stress shopping is here already and some is still coming. So I figured we would go through what I have and kind of take a quick look at it and you guys can tell me if you have preferences for what you want to see first. So I did record already a polish pickup haul so I'm not going to talk about these individually but of course these came in separate packages. This was before my stress shopping. This was just new haul stuff that came in. Super excited to have this July polish pickup stuff. I ordered the Ulta exclusives of the OPI Peru collection. The OPI Peru collection I didn't think was 100% typical fall colors. These ones are feeling more fall-ish to me. I'm absolutely happy to have these. I do have a review of these that is going up soon if it's not already up. And I have the Glisten and Glow I think it's the I Believe in Unicorns trio. It's a unicorn something name. Glisten and Glow was having a sale. This was a stress week shopping here. This one also has a review coming up soon because these are on sale so I'm not sure how long they're going to be on the website. I didn't buy these but if you've seen my other videos you might have seen me talk about Bisu Polish before. When my husband and I went on vacation to Mexico I bought some nail polish from Mexico that was not a brand I'm able to get a hold of here in Idaho and one of my subscribers uh, messaged me and told me that she had some Bisu Polish that was... I believe it, she said it was a polish swap. I think, I can't remember. And she said they're just not getting love in her collection and asked me if I wanted them. I've been happy with the Bisous I have so far and all of mine are creams and these are like shimmery flakies, sorry. So I have the yellow one that's Pina. I can't say this name. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. This gorgeous purple is Uva and this green is Limon. So I didn't buy those, but those are new to me. Um, I got my Orally Color Pass box that I need to do a review on. I'll just pop those colors out and show you real quick. This is Seize the Clay. Marvelous. Snuggle Up. Cashmere Crisis. Fall Into Me. And Olive U. Kelly. This is one that I'm definitely doing a review on, so if it's not up before this haul video, it will be up shortly, so you'll definitely get to see more of these polishes. So originally, I had bought two 9-0 polishes before she did her sale before Stress Week. I ordered Octorock, which is this great purple with golden hollow in there, and Singer Auto Salvage. I love ugly pretty colors, and I only call them ugly pretty with love. Um, I definitely don't ever mean that as a bad thing. This is kind of a brownie green base with a bunch of, it looks like golden hollow in there also. So this is one that I've had on my radar for a long time. I've just never bought and I finally broke down and bought this with Octorok. And then when 9-0 did their sale, they don't do sales very often. So I went back and bought some more. I have three from the original smoothie bar collection that I had before but I had decided I wanted Mango Sunrise which is from the original smoothie bar collection and I also picked up Kiwi Crush from the smoothie bar light collection and Pomegranate Refresher also from smoothie bar light collection and also I picked up this monthly polish this is called January 2016 I am always a sucker for a gorgeous purple also, when KB Shimmer had their sale, this was stress shopping week. So I went and got a few polishes that I've wanted but have always held off about because sometimes when a nail polish is hyped up too much, then I'm like, well, is it worth it? So one of the ones I felt like I had to have was Oh My Gourd, which is 
more orange than a mustard yellow. I am so excited to have this one. As soon as I opened the box it came in, I was like, oh yeah, I should have bought that a long time ago. This one is You Go Ghoul, and this is a kind of a berry purple base with a bunch of... I'm actually not sure if they're shifty flakies in there or if they're just gold, but they are gorgeous in that jelly base. It also looks like there might be some holog holographic glitter in there. Next we have Hashtag Squad Ghouls. This is a um, blogger YouTuber collaboration nail polish from Miss Holly Berries. This is kind of a dirty olive base, again with all that reflectiveness in there, like You Go Ghoul. And this one also looks like it's got some holographic reflectiveness in there. This is one of the ones that I put off forever because it was very hyped up and I try not to buy polishes just for the hype. Even though this is a color that is the type of color that I probably would like, I haven't worn this one yet, so I'll give you guys an update. I also bought your Brutiful, and this is a kind of a neutrally holographic. I love these kind of nail polishes that just seem unassuming and less in your face, but they have that something extra. I also bought the Wanderlust collection. This one... There were a few in here that absolutely caught my eye, and then they were on sale plus some percentage off. So I did buy the whole collection. I do plan on reviewing it. Hopefully I can get to it and have time while it's still available on their website. This is Cactus If You Can, Meet Me at the Bar, Suck It Up, Rise and Grind, Hakuna Moscato, Now and Zen, Don't Fear the Reefer, and Wonderful World. I got an order from Dollish Polish. I love the Why Can't Every Day Be Halloween collection because my birthday is on Halloween. So they release a new one every month and I believe this one was July's. This is Bub. So while I was on there, I bought some other ones. This is Zombie Boy. Breathe Sunflower, three to the left, four to the right, Rainbow. Enchanted Fairy. And Nobody Puts Baby in a Corner. Next, from Indie Shop, I had a coupon for the Polish Nook, but after Indie Shop, I was trying to be good, and I was doing my low buy. During my stress shopping, I used my coupon and bought this, I believe it's an exclusive Sassy Pants collection with the Polish Nook. So I have Summer Cocktails, Camping and Cookouts, Beach Baby, Pool Party, Fun in the Sun, and Teeny Bikini. Again, I do plan on trying to redo a review on that full collection while it's still available. It was bad timing to do all this shopping though because I am going away for two weeks for vacation. So I will see what I can do. I also have these gorgeous Chloris de Carol neons. So I really, because this is a neon collection, I do worry about this one going away before I get a chance to review it. So I'm Thinking about instead of swatching it, maybe just doing these colors on the swatch wheel and giving you a mini review like that. This is Laser Tag, Neon Party, Blackout, Strike a Pose, and Let's Glow. Rachel reviewed Diamond from the Cupcake Polish Anniversary Trio and until I watched her review, I wasn't really interested in the trio. Um, this one, she raved about, and I, actually I didn't watch her review before I ordered this. I saw her swatch. After I saw her swatch, I was like, I just have to have that one. So I only ordered this from the trio. If I had watched the full review before I ordered, I probably would have ordered the pink. Um, instead, I ordered some other stuff to get free shipping. I never had very good looking. Um, I know that's like sacrilege because it's very good looking from Cupcake Polish, but now I do. I also have Revamped and Plum Perfect. 
Oh, I also, with my sassy pants from the Polish Nook, I ordered a Pepper Pot polish. This one is Super Senior. I don't have a Pepper Pot polish, so I was excited to get that one. Um, my KB Shimmer nail polish came with this bag, and I ordered enough that I also got a nail file. Lollipop Posse Lacquer. I think I went to their website to check out the polish pickup shade, and instead I ended up leaving with Perfectly Normal Thank You Very Much which is a Harry Potter themed nail polish. This one is from a line talking about the Dursleys in the book. I got some random Orly nail polishes. This is Angel Rain. Rage, I didn't have Rage. Sweet Dreams. And Push the Limit. I actually saw this on Joy from Joyful Beauty recently, and I loved the color, so I had to get this one. The add-on neons to Phoebe's collection. This is Swatch Fest Squad and Electric Tide. These both came recently-ish. This I'm wearing Electric Tide right now. I still haven't even swatched uh, Swatch Fest Squad yet, but I love the colors of these. These are both still available on the website, I think. I have a couple more random Glisten and Glow nail polishes. This is You and Me and The Gilded Age of New York. And I also bought the Dark and Delicious collection. I have been eyeballing this collection since it came out. I have wanted it 100%. But as I said, I've been on a low buy. I've been talking myself out of it. Glisten and Glow had their sale, and I believe this was on sale plus their percent off, so I couldn't pass it up anymore. I will try to do a review on these also. I'm so excited about them. This is Sparkles and Skulls. Coffee and Cuss Words, Cold Hands, Warm Heart, Black, Color of My Soul. Actually, I just realized I got two of those, so I have to email her and see which one I'm missing. I emailed her as soon as I was done with the video, and she immediately sent me out Leather and Lucille, which is the one I was missing. And I got Sarcasm, Not My Second Language. Oh, sarcasm, my second language. Sorry, I got all distracted about that. KO Polish also had a sale. I only own two KO Polishes. One of them is a friend's polish, and one of them is that gorgeous green. It's like 305, I think is the number of it. I ordered the Havana Heat Collection. Sorry, I got the light showing on there. I love this yellow. This is not really a mustard yellow but it's an intense, kind of a deeper yellow. I needed this collection for that. And this is not a new collection by any means. This is Winter Glamorland. So this I think is from last winter. So maybe we could do a throwback for these or something. In my Zoya Sunshine order, I got three minis and I think I've mentioned them before. So this one is Vanessa. Um, the other two I've talked about in Manny's or something, so they've been put up, but I got three more minis when I ordered for Sparkles. It was Sparkles was the code. It must have been, was it 4th of July, Patriotic something? Sparkles was the code that was used. I got um, Alicia, Violet, and Elfie. I only ordered textured polishes from that because I love the textures and I just wanted ones I didn't have. So I got Arabella, Miranda, Linz, Nori, Solange, Thea, Dara, Lorna, and a full-size Elfie. And then I also have the entire Zoya Fall collection that I've had for a while and have not even taken out of the packages yet because I have so much nail polish here to go through. So I'm working on collections first. The singles will get put in the boxes and swatched when I get to them. I'm trying to do the collections that are running out of time first. I do still have more stuff coming. I bought the blush collection recently that I can't remember the name of, sorry. I have the Essie Fall collection coming. 
I have two separate orders from Pretty Serious coming. I ordered the Skull nail polishes from Hot Topic. I can't remember what they're called right now. The Chloris de Carol Fall collection. I still have quite a bit coming, so I think I'm going to pause this here and probably split it up into two. This is probably going to be part one, and I'll probably continue on with part two. So if you have a preference for any of the full collections that I showed you for which you want first, please let me know down below um, and I will try and get those up first. Again, I am going to have some time where I'm not doing anything with nail polish because we will be on vacation. Thank you so much for watching my haul, checking out my nail polish, and spending this time with me today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!